Hello and welcome back guys, uh, this is the Prime Kureshi here and today I am actually upgrading my uh, Intel Nook i7 um, I, As you can see here, if you come here I will quickly show you This is the Intel Nook and this is the front bit here and uh, this is the second version which I have which is the i7 with the tall edition which has a space on the back as you can see this is the back and it has a space for ssd so what we had before is we had an nvme which is an ssd again but m2 ssd one terabyte you can see it here and i have 64 gb ram here uh, ddr4 sodium and another one um, together they are 32 gb each so in total we have 64 gb and we have one terabyte ss uh, m2 ram which is nvme super fast um, if we want to upgrade NVMe, it's quite expensive. Um, this is why I basically got a two terabyte SSD. Now, this is probably a little bit um, cheaper than NVMe, but this is a SATA Blue. It's just a generic one. Obviously, I got it from China. Two terabyte. I know SSDs. I have bought it before, and they work. I paid around about 50 pounds for this, uh, but it's a two terabyte one. So let's put it in. Let's slide it in. So we need to get to the bottom and this basically hooks up there. So yeah. And it's very close to the slot as you can see here and then we just need to try and seat it now you go you can see the click and it's call gone all the way till inside and we have a little bit of room here um, so this is the bus cable, I guess, which is going and connecting to uh, here. We could have removed it and then done it and then added it again. But it is enough. I guess we have enough room to do the, all these operations. Um, as you know, I'm running ESX here, ESX 7. Um, so this will be predominantly used for uh, backups. So I have Veeam backup and the server is growing every day. And I was running out of this space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Veeam Backup 11 this time, the community edition, and there'll be videos coming out, out of that. And there will be another recording for another Veeam product called Veeam 1, which does vCenter monitoring. Um, obviously, that will be the community edition as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, I hope you liked uh, this session. And uh, we... Uh, we'll be doing more sessions on you know installations of Veeam and how I, I will be provisioning this 2TB disk. So keep watching. Cheers. Bye.